guys welcome back to tech dose and in this video we will look at final prices with a special discount in a shop problem which is from lead code number 1475 we will look at all the monotonic stack patterns in this problem and i will recommend you doing the stock span problem the link for this problem will be in the description below and also in the i button now let's read the problem statement in this problem, you are given an integer array prices, where prices at i is the price of the ith item in the shop. There is a special discount for items in the shop. If you buy the ith item, then you will receive the discount equivalent to prices at j. And j is the minimum index such that j is greater than i and the prices at j is less than equals to prices at i. Otherwise, you will not receive any discount at all. Return an integer array answer where answer at i is the final price you will pay for the ith item of the shop considering the special discount now before looking at the problem statement let's look at the constraints so the constraints are very simple in this case the n value is just 5 times of 10 to the power of 2 therefore even if you write an n square algorithm it will be 2.5 times of 10 to the power of 5 which is much less than your 10 to the power of 8 so this is definitely going to pass with the brute force approach but we will do the optimal approach in this particular problem now, if you understand the problem, then we are given a set of items with certain prices. And let's say these are 5, 3, 4, 2. Our goal is to find the prices for each of the item after discount. And discount is always considered to be the next smaller item of any given item. Okay. So if there is any next smaller item, then that particular item's price will be the discount. Otherwise, we will add zero. Now, if you look at this five, uh, if I want to find out if I can avail certain discount on this, then I can just iterate from the next item right till the end and find out the first item which I see less than equals to five. What is that first item? It is this three. So the discount on this five will be three. And therefore, in my result, that means in my final price, I will get a discount value of three and, and I will have to pay only two for item number zero. Similarly, if you have to uh, check for item number one, then this price is three. I have to find out if I can avail certain discount on this. So I'll be iterating from index two till the end. And wherever I find the first item on moving from left to right, the first item where I find the price less than equals to three, I will stop there and that will be the discount. So in this case, the discount is two and the final price of item one will be three minus two, which is one. Similarly for this four, the discount will be 2 and so the final price will be 4 minus 2 which is 2 and for this 2 there is no next smaller item and therefore you will have no discount on this item so you will have to pay 2 units for uh, the given item number 3 okay so this is a resultant array and this is what i want to find now i hope you have understood the problem this problem is all about finding the next smaller element of each element of the given array so if you follow the simple technique, it will be order of n square. And we know that order of n square is going to pass in this particular problem. But we will look at a better solution. So let's look at monotonic stack patterns before uh, we actually start solving the problem. Now there are four important patterns when it comes to monotonic stack. And it solves uh, four different type of problems which look similar. That means uh, the next greater element that given an array of item and if you are looking at an element x what is the next greater element that means the nearest element on the right hand side which is greater than equals to x or greater than x so there are two types of definition of this next greater element we will define the next greater element to be the nearest item on the right hand side of x okay so there are two important parameters the one is distance how far apart is is this from x so it should be the nearest item if I have an element here x plus 2 and if I have an element here x plus 4 then the next greater item of this x will be x plus 2 and not x plus 4 because the distance is higher right it should be the nearest item and the second important thing is it should be a greater item so there are two cases greater item or greater than equals to item so the problem that we can solve with the monotonic stack is next greater element next smaller element previous greater element and the previous smaller element and each of these patterns will have uh, two uh, equality check that means greater than or greater than equals to right so depending on what type of problem you are solving uh, you will have four different kind of curves that you want to maintain for the previous smaller element you will have to maintain an increasing type curve and you have to move from left to right for the next greater element being at a point since i want to know what is the item 
greater than x and to the right hand side so we should always parse from right to left the array must be passed from right to left so all the next greater and next smaller items we will always be parsing the array from right to left and when it comes to previous greater and previous smaller we will be parsing the array from left to right because being at a point if i want to know what was the uh, previous greater element then i should have seen all the previous items so that i can answer it optimally right and if being at a place if i want to know what is the next greater element or next smaller element then i should have seen all the items to the right hand side so if i parse from right to left then only i can know and remember about the uh, things which have happened in future that means in the right hand side isn't it so for the same reason uh, you can try maintaining all these four kind of curve for this four type of problem but in this particular case we are solving the next smaller element and the second variant of the next smaller element which says that i will be finding the next smaller or equal item because the condition is not strictly less but it is less than equals to if you look at the problem then you can confirm that it is less than equals to you check this out so prices at j must be less than equals to the prices at i and that is how uh, we know that uh, it is not strictly decreasing but it is a non increasing type of a curve that we want to maintain okay so having known all these patterns you can just check it out uh, i have already explained all this in the stock span problem let's take an example where we are given the prices array having six items and we will be finding the next smaller element now for, for the prices array i have already given a spider curve representation and in this case you can easily find out that the next smaller element of this 5 is 5 itself because of the equality check as well right and for the 7 you will find the next smaller element to be 5 for this 6 it will be 1 and for 1 there is no no next smaller element and for 2 as well there is no no next smaller element so as we know that we will be parsing from right to left because i want to optimize that when i am at a point i should remember everything i should know everything on which has happened on the right hand side so that I can tell in optimal time what is the next smaller element for any given item in this case 6 right so that is why I will be parsing from right to left while I am parsing uh, you can try to maintain two type of curve the two options are to maintain a non increasing curve and a non decreasing curve right why not a strictly increasing or a strictly decreasing because it has equality in the check as well that that is why you have to maintain non increasing or non decreasing you try out both this is not going to work but this is going to work if you try out then you will understand why something is not working okay so in this particular case uh, i mean there is no next smaller element for the last item and we are moving from right to left therefore the final price of the last item will remain to be same because there will be no discount okay and i will be pushing this item into the stack now when i push this item into the stack then I will be storing the index because with index I can always access the value but with value I cannot access the index so it's better that you uh, store index even if you want the value you can get it easily right now let's say we will start iterating from this index number 4 and move to the left hand side we have to follow the rule that if a new item is coming and if it is a larger item then it can easily sit over all the previous items and we will be extending the curve but if this item is a smaller item then uh, we have to keep removing the items until we find an item in the stack top which is actually equal or smaller in this case right so if you check out the fifth item it is a larger item right so this one cannot sit over the item two it is not possible because it will be a decreasing curve instead of being an increasing curve right so i will be popping this out now if you have popped it south the stack is empty and there is nothing to be checked and if the stack is empty i can always push this item on the top of the stack so before pushing we will be looking at the discount and since the stack is empty that means there is no next smaller element so there will be no no discount at all and i'll be uh, writing the same final price as the initial price and i will be pushing the index of this item 4 now i'll be going to the next item so this is 6 now this 6 is actually larger than the 1 which is already stored at index 4 right so this 6 can sit over it therefore the discount maximum discount at this point will be uh, whatever is the item at 4 so 4 has 1 so the discount will be 1 so the final price is 5 here and we can push index 3 over it 
index 3 means it has value 6 which is larger than greater than equals to 1 so it can sit over on on top of the stack simply move on to the next item so this is 5 okay so when you see this 5 uh, then again uh, you have to do the check is this third item actually uh, less than equals to 5 no so you have to pop it out then you check is this fourth item less than equals to 5 yes so what will be the discount it will be the fourth item which is one so the final price is four and you push the index of this five which is two move on to the next item so this is seven right now for this seven you check out is this a uh, second item less than equals to seven yes that is true so what will be the discount whatever is the price at the second item so this is five so the discount will be five and final price here is two now we will be pushing this item seven that means index number one and move on so for this zeroth item we will be checking is this item one is having a lower value that means less than equals to five no so you will pop it out is this second item a value less than equals to five yes so the maximum discount will be five and so the final price here is zero and you will be pushing this zero on top of it now as i said that uh, it will be a non-decreasing type of curve okay so uh, so this uh, zero can sit over this two they both have the same values so the stack which maintains ordering is called monotonic stack the ordering can be strictly increasing strictly decreasing non-increasing and non-decreasing four type of uh, curves right and this will be the final result and it will be returned as an answer i hope you are able to understand this in this case uh, we are doing only one time parsing of the prices array and therefore the time complexity will be order of n because if an item is pushed into the stack it will be pushed only one time and popped only one time and if an item is pushed and popped it will never be re-pushed right so the time complexity is order of n and the space complexity is also order of n because we are taking the stack and in the worst case you will find all the items in the stack right so let's now look at the code if you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months then we have brought for you both the dsa and the system design live interview training program the most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in-depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one-on-one -on -one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number in this problem we were given the prices array i have found the number of items and then we will take uh, the monotonic stack which is for finding the next smaller element and we will be maintaining the index it is a monotonically non-increasing type of stack so i will be pushing the index of the last item and i will be taking a result array which is of n size and the last item will not have any discount so the last price will be the same as given in the prices array now i will be solving for all the items right from the second last item till the first item and i will be always trying to remove from the top of the stack if the rule is not following the uh, non-increasing order okay so if i have the values in the stack as let's say five seven seven eight and if i had to insert a value let's say six in into the stack so eight is larger it will be popped out seven is larger seven is larger five is smaller therefore six can sit over this five okay so this is uh, the order that i want to maintain therefore first i will be doing the removal of all the items which will not be maintaining my uh, ordering and once i am done with that either the stack is empty or uh, we we have the optimal item on the top an item which is less than equals to the current item so if the stack is empty that means i am not going to uh, get any discount because there is no next smaller element so the final price at i will be the same as in the uh, initial pricing right with no discount and uh, if i have certain item on top then that top of the item will will be the discounted price and so i can find the final price by subtracting the top of the stack after this uh, process i will be returning the result array as an answer so i hope you have understood the entire solution if you still have any doubt then feel free to comment below and i'll try to help you as soon as possible like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming video see you guys in the next video thank you